So recently on Twitter, two YouTubers by the names of Dan TDM and Corpse Husband have been cancelled on Twitter. The reasons these two YouTubers were cancelled are just stupid, and it proves that people are just too sensitive. If you don't know who Dan TDM is, you're honestly living under a rock. But just in case you don't know who he is, he, he's a former Minecraft YouTuber. Now he just plays regular games and stuff. Everyone should know who Dan TDM is. And uh, Corpse Husband, if you don't know who he is, he's... He's a scary story YouTuber who reads scary stories submitted by his fans, and he's recently gained a lot of popularity through Among Us and YouTubers such as like Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie. But Corpse grew through Among Us, but Dan TDM, it's what got him canceled because Dan TDM had a stream, and he said a handful of swear words. You might be thinking, okay, so why did he get canceled? Ask why. People are just too sensitive. They literally canceled Dan TDM because he cussed on a live stream, maybe a few times. Uh, it's true, Dan TDM's highly aimed at children, and yeah, it's not, um, it's, it's a weird for that to happen, but it, this same situation happened to Flamingo a few months back when a few little kids found out about his old channel called Albert Stuff. Uh, people were quick to forgive him, though. I don't know why the tur <laughs> The tables have turned when it comes with Dan TDM. No one's quick to forgive him. It's weird. I think it's funny when a child-friendly YouTuber cusses because it's unexpected. And if you have a problem with cussing, that's your own problem. You can't really take it out on the guy himself. He's like an adult man. Come on. Even if he did it on purpose or if it just slipped out, you still shouldn't uh, cancel him for that. It's stupid. And that's a bad reason to cancel someone. But Corpse's reason was even worse. Yeah, he, he was cancelled because he said a slur, and that's, you might think that's a logical reason to cancel someone, but context matters. The story was submitted by one of his fans, so he didn't even say it in his own words. And the, the whole moral of the story was to not say stuff like that. Corpse was being positive, yet everyone just wants to cancel him for that. It, it, it's weird. And Corpse responded with this video on Twitter. Hey, wanted to address this whenever I did the Q&A live stream so I could better explain it on a bigger platform live, but I woke up to a ton of DMs from people and I thought I should do it right away. For those of you who don't know, primarily I've done true horror story narration for years on my channel. The stories are sent in by my viewers, they write all of it, and I narrate their story to share their experience of what they've gone through with the world. These are real life experiences of, like, real shit that people go through. About a year ago, I was sent in a story from someone who's trans. I was glad to cover this story despite some backlash I might get from like boomers and shit because I wanted to show the struggles of what trans people go through and I support trans people. TLDR the story is about an old Christian woman who is trying to hurt them and do horrible things to them. During the story the person who is trans is called the D word. In the video I read the word out loud and I realize now I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize the severity of the word or else I obviously wouldn't have said it. There are over 2,000 comments on the video and none of them mention it. I had no idea this hurt anybody at all. And that's the last thing I want to do. I've taken the video down now. I understand my mistake and I'm sorry. Thank you to the people trying to teach me about this. Some people were just blindly hating me, but most of the people I've seen have been very reasonable. And I really appreciate that. I'm probably going to get off everything for a little bit. Thank you. I think this video is completely unneeded. I think it's, you know, it's good tr he's trying to take initiative to fix this. But in the end, there was nothing to fix. He did nothing wrong. He shouldn't have had to make this video. People are just too sensitive. I think actually people are just trying to find a reason to be mad for no reason at all. Anyway, this is just a little catch up video if you didn't know about this situation. If you liked it, like it and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.